Hello, Veteran0121 here, welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest 7. In the last episode, I started the game after I showed off the horribleness of the uh, 3DS emulator that I'm using. Well, it's not horrible, it just runs too damn slow on my computer. And I forgot to... No, okay. Those are two barrels that I noticed that I forgot to check. So I wanted to check those real quick. Before coming back over here. Anyways, we're gonna go down in the cabin, take a look around, maybe clean some things. You know, that kind of stuff. Empty. Bummer, dude. harpoon rests here. It's funny how we can't just grab the harpoon and uh, take it with us. Oh man. Dude, what's going on with the sound, man? Is that the boat that just did that? I guess so. Got an antidote. Cure the poison status. Sir. Yeah, that's why I gotta stay calm, cool, and collected. Okay, I'm starting to run out of room here. It's alright. Look at all these harpoons, man. Uh... I don't know, man. I have no idea what your feelings are. I just started talking to you. Um... No? Of course you don't understand. Look at one so young, leaving the pain of living on his spouse and go on a dangerous voyage. Nobody can understand how I feel right now. What a baby. Man, I'm gonna tell my dad about you, man. He's gonna have you thrown off this boat. Could possibly understand. Ugh. What a whiner. What a whiner. What have we here? Oh, um, before I mess around with those barrels, yeah, let's talk to the, uh, the head cook. Alright, well, I don't know if I'm that talented at cooking. Younger brother, huh? Oh, you mean my crazy uncle? Yeah, all right. Well, I think he's a douchebag too, man. Don't worry, I won't tell. And look at that, we got another Amit snack. they are pretty worthless. I don't remember if they actually heal as much as an herb, but I think it's like 10 to 15 HP, if I remember correctly. Uh-oh.
Peel some potatoes. Well, at least it isn't onions. Could be worse. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, little woman. Ooh, look at that. She busted through that barrel. Yeah, you bust through that barrel. Man, I was hoping the fucking chef guy would say something else. Or that guy would say something else. I think the chef guy said something different now. Oh, well, good. Means I don't have to do shit. She is. She won't leave me alone either. I keep trying to give her the cold shoulder, but she keeps trying to bug me all the time. Ooh, fireworks. Or something like that. Balloons popping? I don't know. I think those <laughs> I think that was supposed to be balloons. What? After getting my hopes up? Bummer. Wait, that must be confetti or something, I don't know. Where are the cheering fans, the crying women? <laughs> ah yeah, good old Jack. My favorite non-main character in a Final Fantasy game, for sure. Well, let's go talk to Maribel. She's even home. Hey, Maribel's mom. Like, definitely not. Rambunctious and high spirited. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. There she is. Hey, girlfriend. What's up? friendship theme and Maribel has joined the party she's forced herself into my party no you don't need to remind me you probably already know 
yeah, if they have nothing to say, they'll just say lost in thought. And the cool thing about party talk in this game is that uh, pretty much every NPC you talk to, every situation you're in, they'll, they'll have a lot of things to say. So it's good for character development. So after talking to that guy, let's talk to Maribel. So yeah, she'll have something to say about it. I mean, they won't have a lot of stuff to say sometimes, but they'll have something to say usually. Which is great. Uh-oh. We didn't come all this way. <laughs> nice typo. Yeah, we did. I like your mom. Hey, what's wrong with your mom? And how am I being annoying by, by wanting to say hi to your mom? Come on now. Just being friendly. Anyway. Hey, maid. Uh-oh. Got nothing to say about the sleeping maid, huh? Hey, kitty. Alright, this guy wasn't there before the ship took off, but... As you can see, we can buy some things here. You can buy sticks. We can buy like you know various things like pot lids and stuff to raise defense. As you can see, it's a lot of gold and not really worth it given the amount of extra defense that you get from it. So I am not going to bother. Besides, I'll be finding stuff anyways as we go, so I'm not worried about it at all. I guess, I, I guess you can buy like extra herbs and antidotes here if you want, but I'm not going to bother. Four months premature. Jeez. Sometimes that's what happens. Wait a minute, if I was four months premature, how was I a big baby? It doesn't make any sense. That's like completely contra contradictory. Guess I grew fast in the womb. The old lady. Eventually. So, uh, let's go talk to my parents. See what they hey. Level headed. <laughs> if only you knew. Uh, yes. Yes, I have. Prince Kiefer, huh? Okay, I got a small package. Okay, so that 
is a package that I believe is required. You gotta deliver it to Prince Kiefer. And what am I thinking, man? My dad's gone. I said, I'm gonna talk to my parents. I'm only gonna be talking to my mom. Fuck. Inseparable? Is that right? <laughs> Damn Skippy. Maribel knows what's going on. It's kind of a love-hate relationship you got going on here. That should be awesome. Should be a nice feast. If you like fish. If you don't like fish, then, well... Probably not going to be very happy with the food. And this is the overworld. If I had a map, I could hit the, tr the uh, square button right now to, uh, to check it. And uh, at this point in the game, we can wander around everywhere and not be attacked. We cannot be attacked. So let's take a look around the island. This is the solitary island. Over here, that's a ruin. Be going there eventually. Actually, let's go there now. Let's see what Mirabel has to say about this place. Why not? Don't you want to see things and... Gallivanting? Is that the kind of stuff you say when you start losing your cock? Gallivanting. Yeah, I got that from Game of Thrones, by the way, in case you're wondering. the only island in the world and you didn't even know that there's a guy living out here? Does your mom let you out at all? And look, there's a there's a dwarf guy over there. We'll talk to him in a bit. First, let's rummage through his stuff. And look at that, we get a cloth. And as you can see, yeah, this is different than the cloth shirt. This is just like, I don't know, it's just cloth. So, yeah, it's not very good. I'll keep it around, but it's not very good. Kitty. Chest is locked. Well, I know we'll be able to unlock that one later, so don't you worry about that. And I'm almost afraid to examine this well. Okay, it's not gonna. Yeah, some wells in this game you can get attacked by evil wells, which is a really hard monster. You want to be prepared when you run into them. And yeah, sometimes at the bottom of these wells you can find items. Other things. So you want to check them out when possible. Huh. What was all that about? Hey, Mr. Dwarf Guy.
nope. Uh, not really. There's a person who has been fooling around and bothering everyone. What was his name? Hmm. Had uh, Pandora. Han oh man, my uncle. Yeah, this guy is going to be important later on. Uh, this guy can talk to animals. So remember this guy for later. There is going to be a point in the story where we're going to have to come back and recruit that guy's help. <laughs> yeah, not in a good way. Actually, before I go to... I, no, I'll just save when I'm in. I'll just save when I get there. Yeah, we did. You need my help anyways. It's not like monsters are out there attacking people, right? Oh well. Welcome to Estard. Yeah, she likes to do that. She just likes to abuse, uh, use me and abuse me. So this is the the temple. Uh, you can at this point you can save and fish ball as well, but um, you can save. You can use the oracle to see how much experience you need to level up. You can bring dead characters back to life. You can remove poison from them, and you can remove curses from them. So there you go. Uh, yeah, if you don't have antidotes or you just don't want to spend money on antidotes, you can give them a little bit of gold to get rid of stuff like you know poison, bring characters back, and uncurse them. Clean up my memory card, man. Check out the inn. Or actually, no, I'm going here first. Hello, sir. Huh. You think, huh? 
Don't know the prince very well, apparently. He is his own agent. In fact, I'm more of a pawn of him than he is of me, believe me. I mean, he's the prince after all. I mean, I'm, what am I? I'm just a fisher kid. Right? What influence could I possibly have on a prince? Unfortunately, pay his tab. Uh oh. Sounds like he's in trouble. Not that I'm surprised. I'm pretty sure those weird colored pots right there, I don't, I don't, I don't think you can get any items in them. Hey, look at that, I found a stick. Even though it looked like a sword. It's in my bag. Uh, let's dump the hairband. And yeah, might as well equip the stick. why I say don't bother buying stuff because you're gonna find stuff as long as you search Probably a good time to end the video. That's all for this episode of Dragon Quest 7, and in the next episode, I will continue to explore the city of Estar. Eventually, I'll make my way to the castle and I'll talk to the prince. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.